Hello, my name is Mark, and today I'm going to show you how to connect your local server to an Android or iOS mobile application that you're building. Now, the title is a little bit misleading because in reality, you can't connect a local server to anything external from the device that's running the server. See, local is local to that machine. So when you type in localhost, it's not going to go anywhere beyond that machine. So what you really need is to have something that is called a tunnel. You don't have to be a web developer in order to fully understand how all of that technology comes together to make this happen. What you need is a service like ngrock. Maybe it's ngrock. I don't think anyone really knows. So ngrock is incredibly easy to use and to set up. And so I'm going to show you how to do that today. So the really cool thing about ngrok is that for a single developer developing a single project at a time, the service is free. And if you're an enterprise or a boutique mobile development studio, then you may want to look at the premium paid options that are available. So the first thing you want to do is go to ngrok.com and you can create an account. Uh, why not just use your GitHub account so you don't have to remember multiple passwords? Once that's all done, the next thing you need to do is download the script file. Insert elevator music here. Cool, that's done. And now you need to open up a terminal window and CD into the directory to which your file downloaded. Then you're gonna start your local server and take note of the part of the address that is the port that your server is listening on. And you're gonna pass that number going back into terminal in with the ngrok script. Now all you have to do is navigate to the address that's generated. Just open up a regular browser and now your local server should work nicely on your Mac, Windows, iPhone device and Android device. So test to make sure that everything works as it did in the local development environment. And that my friend is how you can get a local host server to become available for use and testing on an external device. And I dare say even deploying an application on an emulator. Hey, if you like this tutorial, by all means, please, please, please like it and subscribe to my channel because there are gonna be more tutorials just like this as the months go by. My name is Mark and I hope this helped you.